And then you go against your peers, you know, once or twice a week. And then, like you say, once in a while, you go against the big guns, you know? Yeah, go yeah. Against- once in a blue moon, but not not often. Because I realized yeah. now, that I used to yeah. have this. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, like about, uh, about two weeks ago, I went with this guy. Uh, he was a next national team member, judo. And he threw me. And I did like a 580 degree spin in the air. And then I landed right on my neck. You know, like yeah. this type of fashion, like this. Oh, I landed you're lucky hard. You really, man. Hmm? You're lucky you weren't really, really badly injured. I was scared. That was the first time I was actually worried about my neck. Because I've, I've fallen hard before, uh, but I know how to fall. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty uh, well conditioned for... Um, so, so, you know, I could take falls and get up and keep going, but that was the first time, like my neck cracked and I felt a jolt of electricity go down my spine, my cervical spine and my thoracic spine. I was scared. I was it's really called, scared that he caught a stinger, a stinger, eh? Yeah. You got the nerve damn uh, injured, you know, like bruised, maybe probably took a couple of days for it to go away. Oh, it's still, yeah, yeah, it did. Absolutely. And my neck was still stiff for the first week. And then the second week, now it's starting to get better. I went to see my uh, osteo. She worked on my neck. Then I went to see my sports doctor. Um, and uh, she sent me to go get an x-ray to make sure that there's no fractures or anything wrong. Like she doubted, it, but she was pretty sure there wasn't, but she wanted to be a hundred percent sure because she knows yeah, that no, I, you don't want to mess with the neck. Was there any tingling or numbness in the hands or nerve radiating nerve pain? Luckily, no, luckily, no. Okay. Yeah, that that's good. So, yeah, and it was then, you, you got stunned, but at least you know you didn't get terrible damage. But, but get this: after that, I talked to my um, uh, I talked to another uh, another one of my teammates, and he used to be uh, an um, he, he's ex national also, and he told me that guy is actually a douche because even when he was on the national team, the guy who threw me, people didn't want to go with him because he had a bad reputation of hurting people when he would throw them because he would throw some really unorthodox throws out of the blue he would do like some really awkward stuff and he would go full throttle no control you know so he would bust guys uh you know shoulders knees elbows whatever you know and and then from there, from when he told me that, I'm like, okay, noted. You know, I'm not mad at the guy, but uh, that's the last time I'm going with that dude. You know, yeah. usually you go with a black belt, they have control. You know, like I, I've went with a lot of like high level guys, right, on the national team and, and all that. And they throw me, they throw me hard, but it's clean. It's, it's pretty clean. technically sound. There's no entanglement. There's no twisting. There's no, you know. And or, or some of those big guys that fall on you when they throw. Oh, oh those God, <laughs> hey, really so, bad news. Yeah, really yeah. Bad. No, it's horrible. When they, when they use you as a crash pad. Oh, <laughs> I've had that in my ribs, you know. Oh. Yeah, but, but that's uh, did you watch the judo in the Olympics? Uh yeah, yeah. I watched a couple of the uh, uh like just a couple of highlights. To be honest, there, there was one match where the guy landed right on his neck, kind of the mm. point of his shoulder side of the neck. I, I was he was trying to prevent it, pawn, but he used his own head and neck to prevent it. Oh, I just uh, I shuddered when I saw it. it. It just looked so bad. I'm sure that guy is still sore, you know, if he if, if not outright injured. Sometimes mm-hmm. the adrenaline will keep you going and you won't feel it, and then for like the next month, man. You can't even turn your head, you know? 